G'day guys, Josh here. Check out this card art. Trade, den trade deadline, I should say. Dwayne Wade, 91 overall base. Card looks awesome. Stats, mm, not amazing. I mean, his mid-range shot, 92. That's pretty solid. Everything else is just okay. Three-point shot is definitely not what I like out of a shooting guard, but obviously Dwayne Wade is not known as a three-point shooter, although he did absolutely drain a contested fadeaway three against the Philadelphia 76ers in the heat game that I was just watching. So let's take him for a test run. We're going to be up against Jamal Crawford. Definitely has the height advantage over him. Let's see if we can pull off some of his inside shots, some of his mid-range shots, and sort of give a little highlight of his three-point shooting ability. In fact, we might even start with a wing three here. 20% release, rims out, unfortunately. I do make that with him. Um, I have made it with him a couple of times. I've played a few quarters with him now. His three-point stat might only be a 79. He can definitely hit it at a higher clip than that would suggest. But we'll just start with a little inside, jump stop, 10% release. That is the one thing that I'm noticing with D-Wade. You really want to hit perfect releases. Uh, if you get the timing a little bit off on the release, you're more likely to miss than make it, which is not really what you want from a card that's in the 90s. All right, we'll find Wade again, running down the far side, pump fake. Didn't quite get that. I think I hit the, pump, the shoot button before he'd actually caught the ball. All right, let's break down the defender, Crawford in this situation, pull up 10%. Finally, we're on the board. All right, here we go. Took us 47 seconds to make a mark, but we got there. Let's see if we can... Oh no, I thought I had that rebound. What happened there? Get that ball back. Let's see if we can keep this ball rolling. All right, D-Wade sprinting down the side. Stopping, deep to 20% release, swish. That was nice. And he had two defenders on him too, actually. That was a great Wade shot for sure. All right, ooh. Oh, Embiid with the miss. All right, let's find that Wade again. There he is. Be cool to get an alley oop with him if possible at all. Break down Crawford. Couple of spin moves. Oh, <laughs> that's. I actually thought it was going for a layup, so that's why I let go of the shoot button. But he just stopped and popped, and a zero percent uh, release. Not a great shot. Not a great shot. Now we get the pump fake. The defender doesn't bite. Back it out. We're gonna try that again, go back to Wade. If we can get it to him. Oh, he's cutting inside. Should be able to finish that, and he does. So we are up in this quarter. Wade has scored three times. Let's get the ball with Wade. Uh, let's get the steal with Wade, I should say, if we can. Uh, he may have had an impact in knocking the ball loose. Can we finish with a three in the corner? That'd be a great way to finish the quarter. A little bit late on the timing, a little bit long on the shot. That's maybe a little bit below average for Wade. I think we can do better next quarter. A little bit of the uh, the review video curse here for sure. Let's jump in. Uh, we're looking for someone that doesn't have Royalty LeBron because I just don't want it to crash. Here we go, no Royalty LeBron here. We'll be facing up against Vince Carter. Uh, fingers crossed we can get through this second quarter without a crash, that would be great. Haven't had much luck in review videos recently. All right, let's try that uh, that tip off wing three again. 20% release, bang, there we go. This might be the quarter, he might be on. As long as I don't take stupid shots, which I am known to do, just to sort of test their abilities. Contest that, miss that, yeah, there we go. Uh, he's not bad rebounding too, actually, for someone that's only 6'4", if he's in there, he does often come down with it. Uh, what are we doing here? We're gonna break down Chris Dapps, he can't keep up with us. Get inside, shoot it over him. Ah, that was close. Wanted that to drop. Let's get that ball back off. Uh-oh. Chris Tapp is going to... Oh, no. We got lucky. He went a little bit long. AI does get the rebound, and Chris Tapp misses again. I'll take it. All right, where's Wade? All right, Wade's out top. Use some screens. Here we go. Jump stop. 10% release. Swish. That was too easy. Uh, he, I do like doing those jump shot, uh, jump stop shots with him. If he's open like he was there, they're almost always money, even if you are a little bit off on the timing. See if we can uh, replicate it down. I know Vince is going to de be defending him a little bit tighter, but I reckon we can break Vince down here. Come on, go, go that steal, Vince. Oh, here we go, here we go, inside. <laughs> oh, damn. The finish was a little bit too tough. He got by his defender but couldn't beat the big man. 
and Chris Dapps with this super easy cut to the basket. Let's see if we can get Wade cutting to the basket. There we go. Oh, back down mode. I hate it when I do that out in the perimeter. Why do you ever want to go into a post-up type shot out in the perimeter? It's very strange. Oh, Wade fell over then. Uh, Wade, Wade's man fell over then, Vince Carter. Let's go the old school step back from season one. Can you train that? No. They've definitely uh, tweaked that quite a bit to make it a much harder shot. I reckon we've got time for one more shot. If we can convince the AI to take it, to pull the trigger quickly and not hold it. There we go. Shoot that, Simmons. Make that. Hopefully they make that and we get the ball back. Damn, whenever we actually want them to make it, they don't. Do we get it to Wade? No, that's Dirk and he's going to... And they go for the layup after the siren. That's exactly what we want. Then we go into an animation that causes them to shoot after the, the quarter has expired. Thanks, guys. That's, uh, or thanks, Dirk, I should say. Anyway, that's a little highlight of, uh, of D Wade. I'm not sure how many of you picked him up. If you can get him for super cheap in the auction house, his card art is fire. If you're a Heat fan or if you're a Wade fan, he's probably worth it just to have in your collection, but he's definitely not a lights out shooter and there are plenty of other better options in that position. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to sub to the channel if you want to see more.